Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this beautiful and very nice mesh hat or uh, summer hat. You can see this beautiful stitch. This hat is made by uh, shell stitch and you can make that and use and enjoy that. Let's get started. For this hat, I want to use Alize Diva yarn and a 2.5 millimeters hook. Start with a slip knot, then make four chains, two, three, and four. And now insert the hook into the first chain and make one slip stitch to form a ring and we should make uh, the first round into this ring so make three chains to start the first round these uh, three chains count as a double crochet and now yarn over insert the hook into the ring pull up a loop pull through two and pull through two make one double crochet into the ring again yarn over go to the ring pull up a loop pull through two and pull through two again yarn over go to the ring and make next double crochet yarn over make next double crochet into the ring and repeat that work until have 16 double crochets in total with these uh, three chains Continue until the end. Now at the end, I have 15 double crochets and this chain three as a double crochet. And uh, actually we have 16 double crochets in total. And uh, for making uh, an invisible join, we should uh, skip these three chains and make one slip stitch at top of next double crochet. Start round two with three chains as a double crochet, then make one double crochet into the same stitch, go to the next stitch and make two double crochets into that. One and two. Again, go to the next stitch, make two double crochets here, one and two. Two double crochets into the next stitch and make two double crochets into each stitch of previous round until the end. Now at the end of round two we have 15 groups of two double crochets on top of each double crochet and uh, now we should make the last group of two double crochet into this slip stitch instead of uh, skipping chain three so yarn over insert the hook here into this slip stitch and make one double crochet and again another double crochet into the same slip stitch and now we have 32 double crochets in total skip these three chains and make one slip stitch on top of next double crochet start round three again with three chains as a double crochet and then make another double crochet into the same stitch and after that make one double crochet into the next stitch now make two double crochets into the next one and two and one double crochet into the next again two double crochets into the next double crochet and one double crochet into the next and repeat this sequence until the end now at the end of round three make two double crochets into the last stitch and one double crochet into this slip stitch instead of skipping chain three and now we have 40 
8 stitches in total. Skip chain 3 and make one slip stitch into the next double crochet. You can see this invisible join at the end of each round. And now start round 4 with 3 chains and again one double crochet into the same stitch. We have two double crochets at top of the first stitch. Then make one double crochet into each of next two stitches. Go to the next stitch, make two double crochets at top of that, and one at top of each of next two stitches. Again, two double crochets into the next, and one into each of next two stitches. And continue this sequence, make two double crochets into the next, one into each of next two stitches, and repeat until then. At the end of round four, I made two double crochets into this stitch and one double crochet into the last, and now I should make one double crochet into the slip stitch instead of skipping chain three. And now we have 64 double crochets in total. Make one slip stitch into the uh, first double crochet and skip uh, these three chains and start round five again with three chains and one double crochet into the first stitch and after that make one double crochet into each of next three stitches one two and three now make two double crochets into the next one into each of next three one two and three two double crochets into the next and one double crochet into each of next three stitches and continue until the end at the end of round five i made two double crochets here and one double crochet into each of the last two stitches and now I should make one double crochet into the slip stitch to have 80 double crochets in total make one slip stitch at top of this double crochet after the chain 3 now start round 6 with 3 chains one double crochet into the first stitch we have two double crochets at top of the first and now make one double crochet into each of next four stitches three and four again two double crochets into the next and one double crochet into each of next four stitches And repeat this sequence, two into the next, one into each of next four, and continue until the end. At the end of round six, I made two double crochets here into this stitch, and one into each of last three stitches, and now I should make one double crochet into the slip stitch to have 96 stitches in total and make one slip stitch at top of the first double crochet after chain three round six is finished as you can see that we increased uh, the number of stitches in each round and uh, make this circle bigger and bigger and now uh, from here we want to start a shell stitch so make one chain one single crochet into the first stitch then make four chains skip one two and three stitches and go to the next make one single crochet again one two three and four chains skip one two and three stitch and make one single crochet into the next one more time one two three and four chains skip one two and three stitches and make one single crochet into the next and continue this sequence chain four skip three stitches and make one single crochet into the next until the end now i'm at the end of uh, round 
seven. And after last single crochet, I have two stitch left and one slip stitch. Actually, I have three stitches left, such as other parts. And after the last single crochet, uh, we should make one chain and one double crochet into the first single crochet instead of chain four. So after this chain one, skip next two stitches and next slip stitch, go at top of first single crochet here and make one double crochet. And this is the last chain space. And we have 24 chain spaces in total. I want to start round eight at top of the last chain space with one chain and one single crochet into the space. Then skip single crochet, go to the next chain space and make eight double crochets into that. Yarn over, go to the space, make one double crochet, again yarn over, go to the same space, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight double crochets into the same chain space. Then go to the next space, make one single crochet here, chain four, and go to the next space and make one single crochet here. And repeat from here. Make eight double crochets into the next chain four space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then make one single crochet into the next space, chain four, and one single crochet into the next space. And repeat this sequence until the end. In this round, we have eight shell stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now, after this single crochet into the uh, chain four space, we should make one chain and one double crochet at top of the first single crochet of the round instead of chain four. Okay, and uh, we have one single crochet into this space and one into this space and chain four between them. Now, start next round from here at top of the last chain space with one chain and one single crochet into the space. Then skip the single crochet and go to the shell stitch, make one double crochet into the first double crochet of that. Then make one picot, one, two, and three chains, insert the hook into the front loop and side loop, and make one single crochet. One double crochet into the second double crochet of shell stitch, and again one picot, one, two, and three, insert the hook into the front loop and, and side loop of double crochet and make one single crochet here. Again, one double crochet into the third double crochet of shell stitch, one picot, one, two, and three chains, insert the hook into the front loop and side loop of same double crochet and make one single crochet. And repeat that work. We should make one double crochet at top of each double crochet of shell stitch. And after that, make picot with three chains and one single crochet into the front loop of and side loop of same double crochet. And continue that work. One double crochet and one picot.
Now make one double crochet at top of the last double crochet of shell stitch and we don't need to make uh, the picot after that. And now we have eight double crochets and seven picot between each two double crochets. And after that we should make one single crochet into the chain for space between these two single crochets. And repeat that work. Make one double crochet at top of each double crochet of shell stitch, the next shell stitch, and after each double crochet make one picot stitch. And uh, continue to have eight double crochets and seven picot stitches between them. And after that, go to the next chain four space here and make one single crochet into that. And we should repeat this sequence until the end of the round. At the end, make one slip stitch into the first single crochet here. And now the diameter of this circle has reached six and a half inches. That's uh, suitable for adult size. And after that, uh, we don't need to decrease uh, this diameter. So start next round with three chains as a double crochet, then make five chains, one, two, three, four, and five. Then skip next two picots, go to the third picot here and make one single crochet into that. Again, one, two, three, four, and five chains. Skip next picot only and make one single crochet into the fifth picot. One, two, three, four, and five chains. Skip last two picots and make one double crochet at top of this uh, single crochet between these two shell stitches. And now we should repeat that. Actually, we should make one single crochet into the third and the fifth picot stitch of each group of seven picots. Repeat that work. Make one, two, three, four, and five chains. Skip the first and the second picot. Go to the third picot here. Make one single crochet into that. One, two, three, four, five chains. Skip the fourth picot and make one single crochet into the fifth picot. One, two, three, four, and five chains. Skip the last two picots and make one double crochet at top of the middle single crochet between same shell stitch and the next shell stitch here. And continue this sequence. Make five chains, one single crochet into the third picot, five chains, one single crochet into the uh, fifth picot, five chains and one double crochet into the next single crochet and continue until the end. After making a single crochet into fifth picot of uh, seven picots of last uh, shell stitch, don't make five chains, make two chains only and one double crochet into the third chain of beginning chains, one, two, three, here. And these two chains and one double crochets make the last chain space. Now start next round with one chain and then we should repeat this round. Make one single crochet into the same chain space. And after that, four chains. Go to the next space, make one single crochet here. Again, one, two, three, and four. One single crochet into the next chain space. Again, one, two, three, and four. And one single crochet into the next chain space. And repeat that work until the end of the round. And at the end, make one chain and one double crochet into the first single crochet. Then repeat round eight to round 11 several times until reach the desired height. I repeated round 8 to round 11 
three more times ending with round 10 these rounds of picots and now the height of my hat is enough and I should cut the yarn so fast enough and cut the yarn and then hide this yarn through the stitches of previous rounds After that, you can uh, block this hat and use that. I hope this video will be useful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Have a nice day.